signed and sealed the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, something that many thought would not happen just a few weeks ago, definitely not a few months ago, is now the law of the land. For more, let's bring in ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus in Los Angeles and ABC correspondent Zareen Shaw here in Washington. Zareen, uh, is this a win for the president? What else did the president have to say today and how is the White House promoting this ahead of the midterms? Oh, it, it's absolutely a win. I mean, you really got the sense that this is a part of the legacy of his administration. I mean, he started up there, he started talking about the arc of his administration, right? In the, those early days, he says, finally, Medicare can negotiate d drug prices with a cap of $2,000. He talked about climate change, the $370 billion that they're investing there. You heard Ginger just a bit ago talking about how what a huge, huge win this is for, for his administration and, and, and for climate change. And then you heard him talk about taxes on, on the wealthy and on corporations. And yes, Kenneth, he is going to be traveling across the country with other Democrats, touting this as a massive win. And you heard Cecilia just a bit ago also talking about how they're even launching ads very soon. Yeah, as Zareen just mentioned, Alexis, our uh, chief meteorologist, Ginger Z, and managing uh, editor of the Climate Unit, mentioned that we will see immediate action on the climate front here. Uh, when it comes to combating climate change, but when it comes to inflation, uh, not so much. So we know this package actually is, uh, is working to reduce inflation, but will it? How long until Americans see relief? Right. Well, it won't be immediate when it comes to the overall inflation picture, Kenneth. A lot of economists say that this will have a negligible effect on inflation over the long term. It does reduce our deficit by $300 billion. That's definitely a good news for Americans. But those hoping that this was going to reduce the grocery bill immediately or help them with relief at the gas pump immediately, it's not going to happen. There are two areas where we will see some real costs over the next months, really more like over the next few years, and that's in energy and health care costs. On the energy front, there are a number of rebates and tax credits that homeowners will be able to get to sort of upgrade their homes to cleaner energy. There are also rebates if you're going to buy and tax credits if you're going to buy an electric vehicle, new or used. In the fine print, though, not every electric vehicle on the road right now or up for sale in this country is eligible. On the health care front, Medicare recipients going to be capped out at $2,000 out-of-pocket expenses a year. Insulin on a monthly basis capped out at $35 a month. So there are going to be some real cost savings, but even those cost savings won't last, won't happen until at least 2025. Zareen, the president criticized Republicans for voting against this bill. Uh, any reaction across the party line there? I mean, look, we know how close it was, Kenneth. I mean, it was 50-50 in the Senate and then in the House. Not a single Republican voted for this. Republicans have said that this is going to increase the economic struggle. They say it's going to take money away from Medicare, and they're not happy with the money that's going towards more IRS workers. But look, I think the optics of having Joe Manchin right there, someone who doesn't necessarily always side with the Democrats, right? He was right behind Joe Biden. He was the first person, if you saw, that Joe Biden shook hands with afterward. And But look, Democrats are going to be campaigning on this. They're very happy about it, but you know that Republicans will be too in their favor. Yeah, and Alexis, this legislation also includes some tax increases. Will individual Americans see their taxes go up as a result? Great question, and I think the short answer is no. This is going to raise taxes on the wealthiest U.S. corporations, 15% uh, minimal co uh, minimum corporate tax on them and individuals making over $400,000 a year. But some critics say if you start taxing big corporations who employ people, that might cause them to hold back in other areas, perhaps not give wages, perhaps not uh, hire uh, as many people. Uh, so some critics are saying this is a bit of an overreach by the government. Zareen mentioned the IRS, $80 billion going to that agency to help things there, uh, to help things run more smoothly. So we could maybe see our tax refunds um, come a little quicker, and maybe those phone calls you've been waiting to get answered will finally by a, be answered by a human being. But overall, I'll leave you with this. Economists are saying this legislation is going to reduce overall inflation by just one-tenth of one percent over the next five years, Kenneth. All right. We'll leave it right there. Alexis Zareen, thank you. Appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.